Then you must like your students. In the previous video, I have discussed X bar theory. And in this video, I am going to talk about what is theta theory. Chomsky has developed this theory for the argument structure, for the representation of argument structure. As you are seeing that, the, the our topic is the theta theory. When we speak English and when we observe languages in the world, uh, we see different categories, different words. If you don't know what is category, you can see, uh, you can click over the link and you can see my video what are the categories. And when we see that, uh, what are the syntactic structure, what are the sentences, what are the phrases, and we observe that when we see the sentences, like in this, uh, uh, we have some examples and see what is in this example. Number one, our example is John slept. This is our first example. And what you see in this example, you see that in this example, we have two entities, one verbs, second noun. When we talk about the theta theory, first of all, we should know what is the argument structure, what is the argument structure. And in this sentence, we have two things. One is argument and second is predicate. Sleep is predicate. John is argument. And at argument position and at predicate level, theta rows are assigned. We see that what is the function of the certain word within the sentence and these word pref and these words are assigned some roles and if we see the sentence john slept we see that what is the function of john and what is the function of slept basically here john has some roles the next example we see that the cat chased the rat and in this example, we see that for the chasing process, we have two things. One is chaser and the other thing that is being chased. And in this sentence, we have two entities. And these two entities have, they have their roles. And these roles are called theta roles. The next third example, the third example in our uh, in our board, we are seeing that the boy ate the pizza, and in this sentence also we have the three entities: one verb, second noun, and third is also noun, and the structure is also the predicate and the argument structure. In the predicate and argument structure, we these words have certain roles, and what we call, and especially what theta theory call, they are the thematic roles. They are the thematic roles because when we talk about the eating process, we need two things. One is the eater. And the second is the thing that is being eaten. We must have two entities. And these two entities should have their certain roles. They are called theta roles. And first of all, we should know that what are the theta roles. We see that in English language, we see that sleep. Sleep will, must need an agent roles. Because in the sleeping process, we have some agent that is sleeping. The second is heat. For the heat, we, uh, we must have 
the one that can be agent that hit something is home is being hit there are two things the heater the heater is agent that is hitting something that is a person that is the agent and the home is being hit is called the patient this is the patient role and see the next next uh, our example c for c c has the experience roles the theme roles and place has the agent role the patient role the locative roles these are the thematic roles in in theta theory and what theta theory states that basically theta theory states that within the argument structure all the entities must assign roles this is one point the second point is that every role must be assigned